Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Burgers. On today's video, I'm going to be cooking up the Butter Bacon Burger from Burger and Beyond in London. Let's get going. The Butter Bacon Burger from Burger and Beyond was featured as one of the top 10 burgers in London and this video was suggested by a viewer named Greg, cool name. Let's get going. So this has, it, it's, this falls under the category of a simple burger, but it has a few twists. It just makes it very, very special. We're gonna start off with browning some butter. So I have here a hot stainless steel pan. It's not piping hot. You wanna make sure that you're not using nonstick. Cast iron, stainless steel, perfect. going to keep stirring this. Another thing, you want to make sure that you're using unsalted butter. It browns much better than salted butter. You can see it's starting to foam now. We do not want to scorch this butter, so if it starts to smoke, make sure you're pulling it off the heat. You can see it's already it's turning brown now. So you can see we have the brown solids down here and that's what we're looking for. Foam's pretty much gone, we are done. So the patties at Burger and Beyond are made from aged beef. And what I'm using here is dry aged sirloin. It was dry aged about 35 days. Now I like the flavor of sirloin, but I think it's just a little too lean for a really good patty. And it looks like the fat to lean ratio at Burger and Beyond is pretty high. So I have a little treat here. They're not doing this, but I had some of this lying around. I have some Wagyu fat that I'm going to mix in with the lean. Their grind looks very coarse, so I'm using you know the chili grind here for this. Looks good. Their patties look to be about four ounces. I mean, looking at the meatballs that they were smashing. So I'm gonna weigh out four ounces here. And there we are, a four ounce meatball, ready to smash into a delicious burger. Go ahead and weigh out that second meatball. Good to go here. Let's go ahead and make their famous they call it burnt butter mayo. So I have here one half cup of mayo. Here's that brown butter. I wanna make sure that I get some of the solids out. I'm gonna go with about a tablespoon. Looks good. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Maybe about a half a teaspoon or so. And there we are, that's what I'm looking for right there. All right, I'm going to clean up my mess here, get the griddle ready to rock. See you guys in a bit. Burger and Beyond, they cook on a flat top like so many other great burgers using my uh, flat top griddle today. These two burners, medium high. Again, they're running in the 400 degree range Fahrenheit. Low, not on at all here, but again, it's a great warming station because it stays close to 300 degrees Fahrenheit over here. Lay down some pancetta. Very thin, so I want to put a weight on it so it doesn't curl up. Beautiful fresh baked sesame seed bun. I'll lay that right here. I'm gonna allow the meat to heat up, soften a little bit before I smash it. So they're not going crazy thick on their smash. About a quarter of an inch or so is what it looks like. Now 
move the buns over to a warmer spot here. I'm going to season the burgers with just a little kosher salt. Got a nice toast, nice light toast. Lay that down. So on this bottom bun, I'm going to put down that burnt butter mayo. And then some pickled onions, and I pickled these last night. I'll have a recipe down below. It's really easy, and it tastes good. See. It has a nice, a nice, fresh, crisp, acidic bite. Double American cheese. All right, we got a great melt here. And crown this beauty. And there we have it, the Butter Bacon Burger from Burger and Beyond in London, England. It looks gooey, it looks good. Let's give it a try. Look at that. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Right off the bat, the thing that really stands out is that Thin, thin, crisp pancetta. Hmm. Everything is really, really coming together here. Fantastic burger. And here are the standouts. The first one you're going to laugh because it was the pickled onions. Those pickled onions were amazing. The way I pickled them, I used both distilled white vinegar and apple cider vinegar. So what was happening while I was eating this, I was getting that smell and the kind of taste of, of fresh apple with that cool crispness of those onions. Then I was getting slapped with the acidity from the vinegar and, and the spices that I used. So it was just an explosion of different flavors and textures and that cut the heavy fat of the burger very well. So that was, uh, that's a great call. The brown butter mayo, really, really good. You get, that, again, that savory, you know, kind of eggy flavor from the mayo, but then the nutty flavor from the brown butter, really good. Uh, the beef patties were great. I mean, it was a really nice blend of, you know, fat to lean. The pancetta was insane. When I, you know, do a bacon burger, I often, I mean, more times than not, go for the thickest slices I can find, which is good, but this became as crisp as a potato chip. I mean, it was actually ridiculously crisp in a good way. It was like, like I said, a pork potato chip. Great stuff. The bun, I mean, really soft, fresh buns, always good. My one criticism was the cheese. I think there was way too much cheese on this. I don't think it needed two slices of cheese per patty. I think that was overkill. I found the cheese kind of overpowering. It does not need this much cheese. I would, one slice per patty I think is perfect. So I'm gonna try it that way. I'm gonna make this again. It was a really good burger. I really wanna try the burger in London. So it's on my list now. Anyway guys, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next video. Folks in the UK, I apologize, but this is an Australian beer. I didn't have any, any, you know, like Newcastle or whatever. So going with Coopers. Um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thumb it up if you liked it. I hope you did. Keep the suggestions coming in. See you in the next video. Cheers.